Hey guys, what's going on? This is the Quiche with Quiche Does TV, and I need a new website for my band. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to do a series of tutorials on how to build a band website in Drupal. Uh, Drupal's a really flexible content management system that's been my weapon of choice for a while. There's also WordPress and Joomla, which I may do tutorials on those uh, eventually, but I don't use them as often, so um, I won't be able to cover them quite as quite as well. But um, everything I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing right on my Mac. There's no need for getting a web server or anything like that. You can run all your PHP and everything um, right on your local computer, which is kind of convenient when you're on the road or something and you want to you want to be able to work on it. But uh, you can do it really easily with uh, you go to map.info here. And you'll get this site. Uh, you've got two options. There's a uh, Map Pro and Map. We just need the uh, regular one. The other one um, is probably a little bit more of a commercial uh, application that does that does some things that we don't really need to use. Um, when you download it, it's going to have a folder that you can just drag to your applications. And uh, let's open up a new window here. So applications, map, so you got a folder right here and then um, you've got all your scripts and everything uh, ready to go. Here is the app and uh, you'll see it's got a few options. Uh, it comes with a widget which I kind of like to use. Um, uh, in your preferences you're going to want to, I usually keep these checked unchecked because starting the application and stopping since I use the widget um, I don't want it to start and stop my server the ports you do want to um, keep the default uh, Apache and MySQL ports it it usually defaults to this so you got the all the eights and then the 8889 um, but it's just easier to do this you you will have to enter your uh, system password when you start and stop the server but it's it's just a little bit more convenient. The other thing is in Apache, I usually select a different document root. So by default, it puts everything in this htdocs folder. I'd rather just keep, um, I you can select a different folder. I usually just point it to my sites folder inside of my user directory. So um, again, just makes it a little bit easier to get to. Um, but yeah, so it is asking for my password for some of the options um, but yeah, so we can just quit that and uh, here's the little widget so you can uh, start and stop the server from here the other tool that I really like to use is called Drush and it's uh, a you run it over the command line it's kind of a shell script that you use for uh, Drupal and it's at drupal.org slash project slash drush and uh, you want to download it um, I already got it downloaded but once it's downloaded then you'll just want to um, what I do is I put it in in uh, my utilities folder that's inside of my applications and then I just have uh, the drush folder which has the drush command inside it uh, also inside of your uh, utilities you're going to want to run terminal which is where we'll be doing a few things to get set up uh, the next thing you want to do is um, go to your user bin directory and you're going to run a type sudo since uh, we need the right permission we need uh, system permissions to do this and then ln-s is for a symbolic link and we're going to want to want to link um, the applications utilities drush drush um, and then space and then a period and what this command does is basically creates a shortcut in our user bin directory to that drush command and so when when you run that it'll ask for your password but then basically from anywhere you can just type drush now and you'll be able to use the command from any directory which is what we really want 
Um, this is a list of all the commands. Don't really got to worry about that right now. We're going to be doing some real basic things. But if you see all this stuff, that means you did it right. Um, so, uh, okay, I think we're about ready to go. So what I'm going to do is uh, go to my sites directory, make another directory, um, Mara Conflict. That's the name of my band. Um, and since we have since we have Drush installed, uh, I can type Drush space DL for download and then Drupal. And what it's going to do is going to download the latest stable release of Drupal right into my directory, and we'll be able to use it. Um, so you'll see the success, all the modules it has, and then um, we're going to move it to we're going to change the directory to public. So if I open this, you'll see the public directory. Here's all of my uh, Drupal files. So now we need to make now we need to make it so that I can get to those files from the browser. So by default, you know, you can do localhost and then mar conflict and public and that gets you there just fine, but uh, just to make sure things link right and everything I want to keep everything uh, as, it, as if it were on the live site, so we're going to do it as if it were a uh, domain name. So um, you want to open your um, slash etc directory, and then there's a file called hosts that you can edit. And in here, um, what you're doing is you're going to be telling, you're going to be telling the um, which IP address you can basically manually set um, which computer the domain which IP address the uh, domain goes to sorry uh, this 127.0.0.1 is actually a local IP so um, we're just basically saying if the browser sees marconflict.local point it back at my computer so save that it will ask for your password and uh, then the other thing we want to do is let's go back to our MAMP folder and configuration Apache uh, your httpd.conf um, go to the very bottom and you'll see uh, use name based virtual hosting I don't remember if this line was in there from the beginning, but uh, if it's not, you'll want to add it, name virtual host, and then you'll want to add a default virtual host. The only difference between this and this is it doesn't have a server name. So anything that goes by the IP or by um, a domain that it doesn't recognize, it's going to just send it to that root folder right there. Okay, so um, then the next, the next one uh, next virtual host we're going to point it at our public folder which was Mara conflict slash public and uh, use the same domain we used in our host directory save it and now we'll need to um, stop and restart the server to make sure everything uh, everything took Okay, so now if everything went right, I should be able to go to maraconflict.local and voila. So here we are. Um, now you can go to your local host slash PHP myadmin. And I actually already have a database. I'm going to drop this real quick from an old version. So in here you can just type the name of your database and basically leave it. Um, I'm going to just do the minimal install for Drupal, save and continue for English. Uh, we are using MySQL, the database name like we just called it. And then um, since we're on our local machine it's fine to use uh, root but you don't want to use, you want to make sure not to use your root uh, username and password for MySQL. Um, by default, I don't think it has a password 
if it is, it's just root. Um, I've, I think I've changed mine to make it not uh, blank. Um, but try blank first. If that doesn't work, then try root, and you should be good. So now we can name our site. Mara Conflict. States. Save and continue. Nope. All right, so we've got our Drupal installation complete. Visit your nice new site. And here we go. So um, I'm going to go ahead and stop it there. We've got uh, everything set up to get started on the next tutorial, but um, that's at least enough to cover uh, getting your web server set up and Drush. And uh, until next time, I'll see you all later.